everything in this universe of ours is moving. Nothing is fixed. Nothing is stationary. Everything will have to move. And why everything will have to move? Because whatever we think or whatever we think or whatever comes within the scope of our inferences are moving within the cosmic mind or moving within the mind of Paramahapurusha. He thinks and we perceive. All inferences are emanated from the cosmic mind, from the mind of the Supreme Father. You are dancing. You will be dancing, but these dances, you are dancing within the mind of your Supreme Father. You are dancing within the mind of Paramahapurusha. And you are dancing in his mind. Your dances are creating a special type of vibration within his mind, it gives him pleasure. You are doing good work, your good work creates a special type of vibration in his mind, it gives him pleasure. Whatever good thing you do, it gives him pleasure. Whatever good thoughts you encourage or you release, That is, whatever good you do, you do to please him, to satisfy him. And if by your action he is satisfied, that satisfaction of you satisfies you also. Now here everything, nobody can our sun is not stationary, it moves in the cosmos, cosmos along with its planetary world. There are so many stars, so many suns, stars like sun, so many nebula, they are all immobile, nobody is Your body moves, your sentiment, your instincts connected with your body, your mind, everything moves. This movement of yours is different from the movement of other animals, other created beings, because the speciality of human beings is bad. They get pleasure in subtler movements. And this subtle movement or subtler movement are special wounds of human beings. You get less pleasure from a crude object than that of a subtle object. You get more pleasure subtle object. Crude dance cannot give you much pleasure as classical dance can. Because human movement, human tendencies towards subtle and subtler and to the sadness. Each and every living being is guided by subtle instincts, plants have got instinct, animals also have got instinct. But human instincts are less in number than human psychic propensities. That is, in case of humans, propensities are stronger than instincts. And here lies the fundamental difference between an animal and a man. In quest of subtler objects, man failed. Man realized that the subtlest of this universe, from which all waves, all expressions emanate, is my 
Cardinal 